Full System IO Tutorial for Beginners Free Account Tutorial Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with System IO. You can build sales funnels, start email marketing, build websites, landing pages, affiliate courses, and even sell products all with System IO. So let's get into it. Now, all the features that I'll be showing you guys today specifically are available on their free plan, which includes adding over 2,000 contacts, unlimited emails that you can send, you can build three free sales funnels, and add over 15 steps in your sales funnels. You also can create one blog, build unlimited blog posts, build one course, have unlimited students, build one community and have unlimited community members and file storage space. You also have automation rules, tags, email campaigns, one-click upsells, order bumps, A-B tests, coupon codes that you can add. And you also have unlimited assistant account features and integrations. However, one thing to note is that on their free version, one of the rare limitations is free migration and coaching sessions, which will not be provided. So let's get started with creating our account on System.io. Simply click on get my free account and input your email address. Click on get started for free over here. And then you are going to confirm your email address from the mail that you just received in your mailbox. So from here, you guys will see, you're going to click on over here and enter your email address and get started. So I'm just going to log into my account because I have already set my password on System.io and click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, this will be your free to use account on System.io. On the top, you have a panel and in this panel, you have a dashboard. First off, you have a main dashboard, then you also have an affiliate dashboard and a marketplace dashboard. Now, in your marketplace, you actually have different items, rates, and tiers that can be used in promoting a particular product, and you will see the commission rates, the commissions earned. So you can find different affiliates on System.io as well as providing your own. Now let's get started with some of the other major functions that most people are looking for in System.io. First is adding your contact. Now you have two separate sections under contacts. You have your contact section from where you can add your customers or potential leads. And then you have a tag section that can help you in categorizing different types of customers. So I'm going to create a tag called leads. So I'll first remove my pre-existing sample tag and this tag is going to be leads. I'm just going to edit this. Now, once I have a particular tag, I can start adding contacts. So the rest of my contacts might just be my customers and the ones that I tag with leads are going to be my leads. Now to add contacts or import them, you can click on import contacts on the top right. But if you want to create a contact, just proceed over here and input the contact information. Once you do that, you only have a mandatory field of email. The rest of your fields are optional. And then below that, you can select the tag that you want to add. You can also click on add custom field and you can build a unique field. This might be supplier information. This might be certain denomination of monetary funds this person might have spent on, on your store. This could be any kind of custom field and you can just click on save on the top right to save that contact. Now, if you're looking for all of your contacts with a tag, you can search for a particular tag or all of your customers that are from a particular city. You can go on ahead and search for identical to and search for one particular city as well. This can help you in moving through hundreds and thousands of contacts all at once. Now, once you have your contacts ready, you can get started with building your sales funnels. So to do that, simply head on over to funnels on your top panel, click on create over here and get started with your funnel. Now you have different types of funnels you can create like a selling funnel, a audience funnel, a custom funnel, or a evergreen webinar. So I want a leads funnel and the purpose of this is to build an audience and I can click on save. Once we do that, we can click on the name of the funnel to get started with actually configuring our funnel. Now this includes a squeeze page, a thank you slash download page, and just a final page that might be created. 
Now you can customize these pre-existing templates by clicking on duplicate move or remove to choose any page option. You can also click on add step and choose the type of step you want. This can include adding a contact or info page, adding a webinar page, a sales page, order page, upsell page, or a opt-in page. So let's say I want to create a sales page. So I'm going to name this to be my t-shirt sales over here. And I want to build this right on top and I don't want a squeeze page. So I'm just going to remove that. And in my t-shirt page, I can get started with choosing a particular template or I can customize or build my own page as well. Now, once you have set your page, I'm not going to go into depth about page building because we already have a few tutorials where I'd go more into depth about building a email or building a particular landing page or web page on System.io. So you can go check those out if you are uncertain on how to do that. Once you have configured your particular funnel, you are going to go into funnel settings. You have the currency, the payment methods, then you're going to click on view funnel. Now this is where you're going to find the funnel once you have completed it. So I'm going to select this particular funnel template and I'm just going to use it as a basic step. Now, once we have created this page, we are going to edit the page a little just to, you know, Meraki, Monday, sale, whatever it is. So once you do that, you can click on settings. You have, you know, a bunch of settings, but we're going to click on save settings and move towards our next step. Now, once you have configured your steps of the funnel, you can go into the next section, which is automation rules. So you can add a rule over here, funnel step from where subscribed. So when a contact has just subscribed through a form, they would be led to the sales funnel. So you can add this particular rule or you can add your own customized rule, which can help you in building different funnels. Then you have A-B testing. A-B testing is where you take two particular types of emails or two types of funnels and you test them side by side. So 50% of your audience can receive an email where you say Meraki's Cyber Monday or 50% of it can just receive a email saying Cyber Monday. So you can see which one performs better and you can send that to the rest of your audience. Then you have the stats, leads, sales, and deadlines of this particular funnel. Now. Let's go over the next feature, which is newsletters and emailing. So newsletters are an integral part of promoting any kind of brand. This includes registration emails, this includes signup emails. So you can go into emails over here and get started with building campaigns and newsletters. I have created the summer collection campaign and it's a very basic kind of campaign where we have just listed the subject body and the basic trigger for this email, which is whenever someone signs up or is added into our contact list. So in this way, you can get started with System.io. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.